Lesson 4. Water. Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity introduction course. On this lesson we are going to focus on the two types of water you can use on Unity. On the last video we explore the water basic package. Today we are going to work with the pro package. Note that the pro water package is only available for the pro version of Unity. Step 3. Importing the pro water. To import the pro water package, on the main menu, go to assets, import package, and select water pro. This will import the package to your project. The package assets will be added inside the standard assets folder. Step 4. Add in pro water. The first thing you want to do is to delete the basic water game object from your scene. We are going to replace it with a pro water game object. If you take a quick look at the pro water folder, you will notice that just like in the basic water package, you have two prefabs, one for daylight, and other for night time. Drag the daylight prefab and drop it in your scene. Adjust its position and scale. If you select the water game object and take a look on the inspector tab, you will see that the game object is composed by four components, a water plane mesh, a mesh renderer, a water script and a shader. In comparison with the basic water, the pro water has several parameters in the water script that you can change. You can set the water mode to simple, this option will make water work like the basic water. Reflective will make the water have reflection but no refraction, or refractive, which allows reflection and refraction. You can disable pixel lights, this will reduce the quality of lighting in the reflection and refraction in order to gain an increase in performance. You can set the texture size. This value refers to the resolution of the generated water texture. The clip plane offset value is the distance below the water that the reflected or refracted image appears. You can set the reflect layers affected as well as the refract layers. These are layer masks that control which scene objects are visible in the water. By default, all layers are selected. On the shader component, you can change the wave size, and change the values of reflection and refraction distort. These will determine the apparent height of the ripples in terms of their effect on reflected or refracted objects. You can also set the refraction color of the water. The refraction color controls the tint that will be applied to objects underwater. If you press play, you can see your water in action. This concludes our video on the pro water. On the next video we will show how to work with the water for, the most advanced water game object in the engine. We will use water 4 to create the ocean surrounding our island. Please, 
don't forget to subscribe our channel and leave a like on the video. If you have any doubts or feedback, use the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Keep doing awesome games, and have a nice day.